Hey, what is going on, you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape, and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today I bring you guys loot from 10 hours of soloing bandos. Now, I have not soloed since 2015. As a matter of fact, there's only one bandos video on my channel, and it was uploaded in that year. In that video, I soloed bandos for 30 hours straight with pretty much the best in slot gear in 2015, which wasn't the best at that time. And I only managed to get one drop in that video, and go figure, it was the pet. So, luckily, we already have the pet from this boss. I've had it uh, for quite a long time now. So, the goal for this video is to make as much profit as possible. And as you can see, I did go with the Fang for this video. That was my primary weapon. And at first, I was using Dragon Claws as a special attack. But I quickly learned that using the Fang's special attack is much more effective. So, for the first few inventories um, the dragon claws were used and then after that I started testing out the fang and it was absolutely incredible now keep in mind this video was mainly done yesterday they actually nerfed the fang today which is why I tried to do most of this video yesterday the first seven hours was done pre-nerf and then the last three hours today was done after the nerf I really don't have much to say about the nerf I honestly don't even know the details of it I tried to find a post but I could not find it anywhere all I was told um, based off of my last video from you guys was that it was just a quick little hot fix but the point is after they nerfed it I saw my kills pretty much decrease by half every single inventory and my fang was just not nearly as effective but luckily like I mentioned already the first seven hours was excellent it did take me a couple inventories to kind of get the hang of bandos and timing and things like that and you know of course a couple deaths did occur during this video but that's okay um, needless to say the fang was absolutely absolutely incredible and yeah it's a shame that it's uh, not gonna be as effective but that's okay luckily I did use it to my advantage I lost like 50 mil on it so hopefully we make a lot of money in this video to make up for that loss but I'm probably gonna keep it no matter what we'll see if we can use it for something in the future so alongside the fang I did use a blood fury as well as full just this year a dragon fire shield and an avernic defender I would use the defender for my special attacks and then I would use my shield for the rest of the kill so I could tank better. And I would also bring a Kodai Wand and an Aram's Rope Top Switch for two of the minions, this being the Melee and the Range minion. And after each kill, I would kill the Mage minion quickly with Melee. Hopefully my Blood Fury would heal me a little bit. And whatever HP I would need back left over, I would simply Blood Barrage the Range and Melee minion. So this Kodai Wand did come in handy. I know in the intro I had an imbued heart, but like I said, I made a couple mistakes in the very first hour, but I quickly fixed them. And yeah, that's about it for the gear. I just went with whatever the wiki said and whatever I could afford. Um, the thing about bandos is you can do this so many different ways. If you simply go on YouTube, which, you know, I imagine most of you are on it right now, and you just look up Bandos Guide 2022, or any year for that matter, you will find that people can range bandos, they can mage bandos, and they certainly can melee bandos. Whether you're soloing, trioing, duoing, or anything above that, uh, there's all sorts of different ways to kill this boss. But you guys know me, I try to do it the simple way, the way that I prefer, and I feel like this this was pretty effective. Um, my best kill trip, I think I got 22 kills in one inventory. That was my best hands down. And other than that, I was averaging about 15 to 20 kills every inventory. In the beginning, obviously, it was not this much. But uh, when I did learn and kind of get the hang of things, it, it was those numbers. And I really did enjoy it. It was almost like double the kills in inventory at Zamorak. Now, as it goes for my inventory choice for this video, it was the same every time. Pretty easy to remember. We were bringing eight Sarah Brews, five Super Restores, and three Super Super combats. Alongside this, I also had an amulet switch, and that was just to get kill count. In order to get kill count, you do have to kill 40 goblins slash hobgoblins, and that really takes less than five minutes if you're quick. I was also using blood barrage occasionally if the goblins were stacked on each other, and that sped it up too, so that was a pretty neat thing that I kind of figured out while doing kill count. And alongside blood barrage, as well as bones to peaches, you can occasionally get chili potato drops here and shark drops, which will definitely help help extend your trip. Bandos is also known for dropping super restores uh, in a quantity of three, so that'll definitely help you extend your trip as well. Uh, sometimes I would run out of prayer and prayer only, so those super restore drops really do come in handy when you get them. As you can see, we were building up this tab from all of the normal drops alongside the food drops that Bandos drops. God, I'm saying drops way too much. But yeah, a couple deaths, you know, like I mentioned before. And honestly, it's okay to die at Bandos. It's better to die here with a 
big amount of supplies in your inventory because even if you hop worlds, uh, because it does tend to get crowded here, not nearly as much as it used to be though, then all of your supplies will stay on the ground for a decent amount of time. So you can actually do longer trips if you decide to kind of just suicide here and have all of your food and potions on the ground. Really beneficial thing to think about doing, but um, all of my deaths were unintentional. So I'm not going to say I did it purposely, that's for sure. But yeah, I did discuss the inventory and the gear. Uh, the strategy was pretty simple. I would just attack bandos and I'd try to go underneath him and then attack him again so that he would be a little slower to respond and uh, I would take less damage. Again, I'm not an expert at bandos. I know I have a lot of kill count, but all of this kill count was done pre-log, which means I had like nothing filled in my collection log except the pet. And it was all duoed and trioed long, long time ago, probably when I was in high school. So like 2015, I remember staying up very late nights trioing bandos and specifically I remember never getting any drops. I always had strong luck at Armadil back in those days, but never ever bandos. So I really hope in this video we can break that dry luck streak. But here I am 100 kills in and the only thing that I've seen is a couple uncut gems and a couple batches of steel arrows, which is uh, pretty uncommon rares, but nothing too out of the ordinary. The inventories do look nice though. I kind of like the normal drop table. It's definitely better than Zamorak here. It's uh, rune items and decent herbs as well as a decent amount of runes and occasionally you will get some snapdragon seeds. As I mentioned before, uh, the world population wasn't too much of a problem. There would be occasions where I'd have to hop like five or six worlds to find an empty room here, but I remember it being much worse back in the day, so I'm pretty happy that it didn't take too long to find a world. And I also did not get crashed a single time. Nothing like Corporal Beast, so that was pretty awesome. And it's always nice to see people doing bandos, especially in large groups. I saw quite a bit of that. So the one notable drop so far would be a God Sword Shard, but this was from a minion, which I guess is better to get from a minion than bandos, but you know, I wish I would have gotten like Tassets or something from a minion. But I think that's like one in 16,000 or something insane like that, and I've never had a minion drop before. I think one time I got an Armadil helmet from an Armadil minion, but that's, uh, that's about it. So over 130 kills into the video, no drops so far. More uncut gems, this time a Sapphire. Not as good as the Diamond, but I guess I will take it. Something else I'll definitely take is this beautiful Bandos chest plate, 27 mil. Looks absolutely incredible on the ground, especially with that beam right above it and it most certainly was worth the wait i was so happy to see this uh you know after you do so many kills you just get a little bit dry and you kind of just stop thinking about the drops at least that kind of happens to me so that was very unexpected i was so happy to receive that it's just so much money compared to really anything i mean if you look at the zamorak god wars video even the three spear drops i got in that doesn't even come close to this amount so that was incredible over halfway done with the video this was about one 162 kills in more than halfway done of course and yeah i was just having a lot of fun with this one bandos to me soloing makes it much more entertaining the thing i remember about trioing is just the spawn time you know killing bandos and killing the minions so quick and just sitting there waiting and waiting but when you solo you don't really have that problem because after you kill all the minions it really just takes about 10 to 20 seconds for him to spawn and then you got to get right back to it so i found myself really enjoying this one and this kill I was not expecting to see this, but we did receive a God Sword Shard 3, this time from the boss instead of a minion. So it's not quite what I wanted to see, but I was still on a high since that chest blade drop. And I think it was uh, two or three inventories after this where I did log out for the night and came back on today, as a matter of fact, and that is when I did see the fang was changed, and I uh, instantly noticed because I was not hitting nearly as often as I was before. But that's alright. I stuck with it either way. Maybe I should have started bringing a different special attack weapon at this point, but I didn't have a rapier accessible and I just wanted to keep using this fang because I've already been 200 kills in at this point and I only had about 50 or 70 left. I believe it's 70. I think I ended with 270 kills overall, averaging about 27 kills an hour. So I think that's pretty good for this gear setup and my experience level. So uh, could be wrong. You know, like I mentioned, there's a lot of different ways to be doing bandos these days. A few times I would log in to 2,200 total level worlds and there'd always be someone with the new uh, best in slot staff which is worth pretty sure it's over a billion gp still and i saw the way they were doing bandos and it looked so much easier but you know not everyone has that kind of money so i like to make these loot videos a little bit relatable as it goes for the budget and if you do hop around worlds here you will notice that not even all the people have 
just this year. A lot of people just using carols and bandos. And speaking of bandos, while I was killing the minion, ladies and gentlemen, we got bandos task sets from a minion. 21.8 million GP. If you remember in the beginning, I said I've never seen a minion drop before here, and now I guess I can't ever say that again. I was flipping out. This was a bigger reaction than the bandos chest plate. Big shout out to Sergeant Grimspike for that. I, I just don't even know what to think. This was so incredible to see. And I promised you guys in the Temporos video that this video was great. And this was actually before I got the task set drop that I said that. So now I get to say it's even greater and I hope you guys are enjoying it. And looking at the log here, it's just showing one of everything, but we are missing the boots and the hilt. And like I mentioned, uh, Bando's hilt right now is through the roof. So I really hope I do see that. The boots I wouldn't mind for the collection log, but they are only about 200k. So not worth that much these days but either way seeing the collection log pop up is a great feeling and there you go bando's boots coming in to 185k i'll round up and be generous and say 200 finishing the collection log and just about a dozen or so kills left to go 2490 bando's kill count definitely going to surpass 2500 in this video unfortunately i was not lucky enough to receive the hilt drop but that's okay three out of four is not bad Bad at all. Really enjoying the God Wars. I certainly will be doing 10 hours of Sarah Doman very soon. I might have a video ready for you guys tomorrow night. If not, you'll see it the night after that. It's 10,000 Hill Giants on the Iron Man featuring over 50 Ober kills, and I have over 6,000 kill count right now. It's taking me a decent amount of time to finish that one, but I just wanted to keep you guys updated on that. Needless to say, ladies and gentlemen, loot from 10 hours of soloing bandos has been completed. 27 kills an hour for a grand total of 270 kills. I forgot to pick up a hard clue. I was going to do that, but I guess not anymore. So let's go ahead and just jump right into the price check. The very first price check. This is all of the normal drops, including the shards. We have an astounding 1.8 million GP, 6.7 mil overall from the first price check. And now for the second one, this is the BCP, which is at a record-breaking 27 mil as well as the task sets and the boots and this one rounded up comes out to be 48.9 million gp so we go ahead and we add that on to the first price check for a total of 55.6 mil from 10 hours of soloing bandos probably spent about three mil on runes for this video and food and potions but overall that's about it so 55 mil made 52 mil profit as you can see the rune light tracker shows everything right there Big shout out again to Sergeant Grimspike. That really changed the course of this video. And that's about it, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching today. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you next time. And as always, Mr. No Sleep, out.